Hello, hello! Perfidious Pete here, ready for more monsters, mucus, and mayhem as we prepare to peel away the slowly crusting scab that is Perfidious Manor in Darkest Dungeon. And hey, speaking of scabs, our last outing into the wield was about as scabrous as they come. Nearly sabotaged from the outset by being woefully unprepared thanks to my own punishing stupidity. Fortunately for us, however, Sir Roderick Usher was not to be daunted, and despite being dispatched with far too few torches and even less food, he managed to not only avoid a grim death down in the darkness, but have himself one hell of a time as well. Or at least, I'm assuming he did, since he emerged from the depths with less stress than he had going in. If, uh, if I'd known he was going to have such a good time leading a suicide mission, I wouldn't have spent all that cash on stress relief for him previously. Instead, I'd have just handed him a team, a rusty knife, and a bucket of fish heads, wished him luck, and sort of turned him loose. Which, you know, I may actually just start doing, I think, since it was so profitable for us. So, I guess before anybody else kind of catches on to my scheme to start treating them all like Bart Simpson's twin brother Hugo, I'd say we just uh, embark on another mission toot sweet and get that expedition launched. Still desperately need to get down into the Warrens, still don't have a team that can handle a veteran level mission. We're sort of shit out of luck on that. What do we got here? Reclaim Relics of the Light. A medium mission to gather three holy relics. Very interesting. What about down in a wield? What do I need more? I don't really need Cress or Bus, so let's avoid the ruins. What do we got in the wield? Gather three medicines. A medium mission. You know what? I can do that. And we're going to send not the A-team, because two members of the A-team can no longer go. We're going to send sort of the second A-team. They're, they're not really a B team, but they're not really the A team either. They're more like the A and a half team. Uh, on a scale of one to three, they'd be a solid two. Let's, let's just put it that way. So who do we want to take here? You know, we could... Let's, let's actually not take Madeline Usher. Let's hold her back. We'll also hold back on Lucy Pevensey. We only have one more mission before Madeline also is going to begin to refuse to go on sort of base level missions. So I think we may hold her back... And use her to try and kill the wizened hag. Probably a better use of her time. So let's go with... You know, you know what? Actually, we should we should not take Halfcock Jack in that case either. So we won't. We'll, we'll leave Jack behind as well. And instead, we will take... We're, we're definitively going to take the Murph. I mean, Murphy, that, that's, that's a solid pick. She's going to go. Doctor Strange, I definitely want to take. New to the roster, we're going to finally get him out and get him a little bit of action. Candy Jade, of course, still drinking her way to troubles. Chrysania, I think it's time we probably get her pushed out of the nest and launched into the real world. Chrysania, of course, light-sensitive, which is funny because she's blind. <laughs> yeah. And we need a, a number two man here. Should take Django Fett. Probably going to take Django Fett. Alternatively, we could take Deckard. Who has better skills? Well, not, not really Deckard. Django, you have the right skills, don't you? Yeah, Django's got the ball. All right, Django is winded. Nah, that's fine. Let's take Django. Alright, so we're not going to try and kill the wise and hag, but we are going to try and gather some medicine. So let's provision our guys and not, hopefully, this time make a complete fucking utter mess of doing it and rely on getting ridiculously lucky in order to make sure everyone doesn't die. So 18 food, 3 shovels. That's good. Let's take, uh, let's say, 10 torches. Seems reasonable. 1 medicine, 1 key. That seems like a pretty solid outlay. So let's let's roll with this, and it's off to search the wield for a little bit of medicine. Uh, I actually had to look up the pronunciation of this word. It actually is pronounced wield, like as in to wield an object, except not. I wonder what you wield when you go into the wield. I mean, well, if you're Karen Murphy, you wield a giant halberd that you use to smash people's faces in. And uh, I, for one, am glad that the Murphy is bringing that halberd along. We actually got a pretty good layout for gathering uh, gathering herbs. Even if we have to go all the way to the end, we should be in pretty good shape with only sort of one room that's going to cause us to have to do double duty. Haha, <laughs> duty. A double duty. That's that's when you go, and then ten minutes later you got to go again. It's a little bit of diarrhea action. So we resisted the blight, but uh, picked up some rather unpleasant amount of stress from that. Let's see if Doctor Strange is as lucky as Randolph Carter when it comes to investigating strange and uh, mysterious objects. The answer is no. 
Uh, Randy covered in a sticky salve. What did what did that get you, Doctor Strange? Great, you're, you're not a slow draw. Fantastic. That's fucking horrible, actually. So clearly, Randolph Carter, uh, much much more lucky than old Doc Strange is. Doctor Strange not enjoying the protection of the Eye of Agamotto. Should have should have considered bringing that bad boy along with him. Alright, so a couple rends for the old gods, some stressful incantations. Now, we can camp on this mission, so if we do need to get a little bit of uh, sort of emergency stress relief, we will have an opportunity to do that. You know, I'm actually going to go with the stun and see if... Well, we can't... Never mind. I'm just going to see if maybe we could stun him, but I think instead we'll just go for the damage and the self-heal. Alternatively, we could have actually thrown a straight-up legitimate heal there, which might have been useful. So, Doctor Strange, while uh, not as lucky... As old Randolph Carter, when it comes to exploring the mysteries of the unknown, he's good goddamn deadly. A Marvel hero's level appropriate of deadliness, really. Murph, a little bit of bleed, of course, she got rended. But uh, Murphy, gonna respond in kind for young Master Brawler, and that gentleman has suffered lethal damage. He will not be going again. Speaking of lethal damage, Murphy. Clearly the enemy is on to the fact that young Karen Murphy is the most dangerous opponent they could possibly face. They're really piling it on the Murph. Well, Murphy's bleeding already. Can't do any more harm. Huge heal from Doctor Strange. Man, Doctor Strange. He's got the output. He's got the juice. He's got the mojo. He is the Sorcerer Supreme, folks. There's a reason for that. He's also Benedict Cumberbatch, but, uh, you know, that's uh, kind of beside the point. And Murphy gets a little payback of her own there. If I had a bandage, I would certainly slap it on the Murph here. But, uh, alas, no bandage in the house, so we're going to have to make do without it. An unlocked strong box. What's in it? 150 gold. Well, it beats a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. Which actually could be what was in that box. It might legitimately have been a poke in the eye with a sharpened stick. Doctor Strange recovers 100 gold for us. And we have another fight. Still no medicine to be found, but that's okay. We're pretty early in the dungeon. Let's see if we can get this ectoplasm out of the equation before it has a chance to spawn more of its own kind. And, uh... Our bounty hunter getting it done for us there. So Django, not haunted by the faulty jetpack technology of his predecessors, seems to be doing uh, okay work so far. Hopefully he doesn't wind up uh, slowly being devoured in the belly of a sarlacc like his uh, ancestors and compatriots. I mean, it's sort of a unpleasant fate if you're one of the Fett clan. Your reliance, stubborn reliance, really, on the substandard jetpack technology does have a propensity to get them in trouble, but so far so good for Django. We'll be taking our 400 gold and moving right right along. Django, let's see how lucky you are. Oh, pretty damn lucky Django found a map. Alright, let's see what we got. So we got a wide scouting array here. So there are two medicines. We've got two sort of front-loaded. Now, I don't like these two walls because that's going to put us pretty low on shovels. A little less than optimal, but having two medicines kind of front-loaded is a quality problem. Doesn't mean we're going to have to fight, of course, but, you know, I said quality problem for a reason. Everybody's pretty well topped up in the damage department. Can we get a stun on one of these fungal scratchers? They do have pretty decent stun resist, but we'll give it a shot. Got, all right, so we bucked the odds a bit there. We're going to flashbang one of these Acolytes. It's got the stun and the shuffle. Taking a groping swipe at Django. Django's jetpack malfunctioning, letting him land right in the path of, uh, sort of right in the path of damage there. Doctor Strange with more tentacles from the abyss. Enemy responding in kind, answering magic with magic, choosing a fight fire with fire sort of approach. Karen Murphy with a rare miss. Gotta say, Murph, I'm a little surprised. Do not push Murphy, that would be bad. Alright, stand strong, Karen. That's the way. Now, what do we want to do here with uh, old Django? I think our best bet might be have Django just uh, straight up go for the bounty. Hmm. A little dodging there. All right, what can we do? Uh, let's put a let's put a dazzling light see if we can get another stun. We did. That's good. Help keep the stress low. Stress is really going to be for this. I think probably more of a problem than damage for us. Doctor Strange delivering some more with the artillery. Here's an Eldritch push. Critical. Murphy still standing strong. That guy had to pass. Of course, he has no attacks that are within range, which is fantastic. 
let's there's some damage all right so murphy landing the shot on the fungal scratcher putting the bleed on dr strange is gonna keep raining down the doom bringing the destruction from long range stun wears off so we're gonna have uh, go for the bounty no dice so for a bounty hunter, Django, I gotta say, buddy, your uh, your collection methods are leaving me question how you're gonna put food on the table. I mean, you got a family to think about, buddy. You got like four million clones you gotta take care of. That's a lot of mouths to feed. Death waits. Django taking a pretty hard critical. We're gonna have to patch him up a bit. Django resisting the bleed successfully, getting a three-point heal off, and we're gonna pick up a little bit of bounty in the follow-up. A spare shovel is very useful, actually, in this situation. I'm quite pleased to have picked that up. So let's have uh, Doc check out this coffin. Hidden treasures in that coffin. Excellent. Another torch, which is good. We're actually going to crack three torches, max our light level, and then we will proceed. Keep our opportunities as high as possible to surprise the enemy. We're getting a little lower on health than I would like. So if we can get a chance to surprise, well, we're going to be eating here. But if we can get a fight where we have a surprise on the enemy, we can use that to our advantage. And I'm so concerned about that, in fact, I'm actually going to burn another torch here. Just to make sure we're at maximum illumination before we go in this room. Nothing in here. Alright, so then. We're going to just straight up encounter all three of our medicines right in a row. This is fantastic. So we're just going to check that out. There we go. Powerful medicines acquired. And uh, i got to say, this one is, is feeling a little bit like a, a slam dunk for us. Oh, wait. Wasn't there a thing that showed? The yeah. You know what? We may actually have to go farther than I expected here. We are going to use our medicinal herbs on this beast carcass. That gives us six extra food. Excellent. That leaves us uh, plenty of food. Twelve food in addition to what we would eat at a campsite. Let's go ahead and check out this satchel. Uh, we just straight up stumbled across the medicine. Entirely unexpected, but not displeasing. Thorny thicket digged out of the way. We digged it right out, because I'm four and don't understand how verbs work. Ah, uh, do I want to eat food with Django? You know what, let's run a risk. If we need to after this and things look grim, we'll camp. And see about patching them up maybe with some camping abilities. This fight should not pose any sort of problem at all. We'll just go ahead and straight up finish him. Not quite as much damage as I would have liked. That's okay. The Divine Grace give Django three more health back. Murph's getting slimed. No, she's not. The adroit Karen Murphy dodging right out of the way. Yep, that's going to be a fourth foe. That's a problem. Murphy. Looking like a crazed maniac with the mad series of dodges that she's got going there. That is a well overkill right there. Fantastically done, Murph. Let's uh, let's go for the facial stab and just a nice critical from Doctor Strange. I'm telling you, Doctor Strange is turning out to be just a, a massive powerhouse. Sort of a... Well, if I, if I dare say it, he's got kind of a, a Karen Murphy level of destruction going on here. Hmm... You know, I think we're better off going for the bounty here. This minimum damage. That's all right, Django, buddy. Um, we're, we're actually going to throw a heal at you. You are bleeding. That's bad, but uh, still, that was a net gain. You're going to lose three of those coming back. Not good at all. I was, I was concerned that might happen, and sure enough. Question is, do we want to stun it? I think the stun is probably more useful here if we can get it. Very difficult to stun a large ectoplasm. 75% resistance. So we gotta get Murphy started on this bad boy right away. Kinda bring him down. The Abyssal Artillery. Doctor Strange dropping some long-range firepower. We're actually gonna go for Judgment. I don't want... Way to be, Chrisania. I was looking to have no more of those guys spawn, but you thoroughly let me down. Murph had the debuff, so I had her just go ahead and finish off what we can. I don't I don't want any more of these large ectoplasms getting spawned. Django gonna post an official bounty with the Imperial Bounty Hunter collection. So that uh So even when it misses he gets to spawn one, huh? Yeah, okay, that's fair. Except it's it's not not really fair at all. And that's kinda what I'm getting at there. Gonna collect a bounty here from the large ectoplasm. Django planting the axe firmly in its face. Let's have Murph finish him off. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. 
Once again, Cytokinesis. So what should have been a very easy fight turning out to be quite a long fight. But on the plus side, I think we're actually going to come out of it with more health than we had going in. We have been doing quite a number on our foes. Let's just go for the straight up Wicked Hack. And any hit at all should do. Doctor Strange with a thunderous blow to cap things off and providing a little additional stress relief for us. This expedition at least. Cash and gems are a reward. Doctor Strange, gonna take a look inside the traveler's tent. Some valuables in here. No medicine, however. Alright, so we have more gold than we can carry. What would we like to get rid of in exchange for another pile of gold? That's the question. Do we want to get rid of anything? You're worth 250. You're worth 500. Well, let's uh, discard this jade, then. We'll pick up the additional gold. And continue on our merry way. Still don't see much of a need to camp. I think we're doing okay as far as from a, like a health and food standpoint. Everything's still looking pretty good. Check out... You know what? Let's purify the mummified remains. That did nothing. Alright, then. And clearly our purification was uh, sort of the right move, even though it didn't work. Not sure what they're looking for there. And we have been surprised. That is a drawback. Doctor Strange is going to pick up a little stress. Once again, the enemy's fighting magic with magic on Doctor Strange. They're uh, trying to neutralize his mystic powers. Django generating another slime. That's unfortunate. Judgment. Can we get a kill with the judgment? Nope. A little extra torchlight won't hurt, though. Django's going to go for finish him, which was dodged. Unfortunate. Murphy, if it bleeds, you can kill it. Well, make one of those guys be dead, then. And Doctor Strange may be doing quite a bit of facial stabbing here. But let's go for the sacrificial stab. A critical... Nope. Dodged. All right, then. Doctor Strange in a bit of a vulnerable position. We may need to have him fall back. Not really known to be a mainline tank as Doctor Strange. Usually more comfortable leaving that sort of, uh, sort of activity up to, say, the likes of, oh, the Hulk or, you know, Thor. Someone along those lines. A little party heal here, I think, is probably the right way to go. A number of our troopers still fairly badly injured. And this... Sh let's go for a kill here. The bleed, is it enough? Not quite enough. So not quite lethal damage on that target. Let's kill an ectoplasm. Man, Doctor Strange does not fight well from the front. That's what we've learned here. He's intimidated by being the one everyone relies on. Grisania taking a little bit of damage. That's fine. We can patch that up with a little bit of group healing. There's the Doctor Strange we've come to know and love. Significant stress relief, a thunderous critical. Rosania going for the party heal here. Going to patch us up for eight. That's good. Uh, this is not good. It's going to make another one of those big ones. Oh, that sucks. Man, that's, that's a stress attack, too. That's actually pretty fucking bullshit. We're going to have Jubal mark our target. It's going to give everybody extra damage. This is, uh, this could be going better. So let's have, uh, have Murph begin the hack in there. Put a, I don't hit, resisted to bleed. We really need to get Jubal further forward. We've got to get him close enough where he can collect bounty. Otherwise, he's doing us literally no good. Doc Strange coming up short of a kill. Probably should have had Doctor Strange just stab the large Ecto now that I think about it. Murphy, come on. Get some damage in there, guys. We need this this big bastard brought low. And I gotta say, the slimes have been uh, fairly significantly buffed in the recent patches. They did not used to make these large ectoplasms at all. These were not a thing you saw unless you were on more like a veteran mission. We are gonna need to start throwing out some big heals here. In fact, we may need uh, Doc Strange to fall back and start cranking out his own big heals. Kasania taking some... Unfortunate damage. She's getting a lot of aggression here. And here come the criticals. We've, we've got to get some of this shit killed. Come on, guys. Once again, Murphy. There we go. Fatal damage. Excellent. Perhaps the turning point. I hope it's a turning point, because things are not going well, Mr. Narrator. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. Alright, so we're going to eat a couple eaten. food with Krasania just to make sure she has a little additional staying power. Let's reorder. Let's get everybody back where they belong. And let's just burn a couple torches to raise the light level. We're going to pick up another torch here for free. And what is our light level? 
76. That's good enough. Let's head into this next room. Hopefully we've got a chance to pick up our final dose of medicine here. Oh, but we did pick up a little bit of scouting. That's good. All right, so no need to go to this room at all. A lot of combat that's uh, happening here. Let's head on this way. Could be medicine in this box. Dr. Strange, you had luck last time. Oh, just some stashed heirlooms. Well, we'll pick those up. What do we want to do here? That's that's actually a thousand gold. How much are you? Five hundred. Could get rid of a key, could get rid of a food. Hmm. Let's let's cash out the emerald, actually. If it were anything other than deeds, I would probably have just uh just abandoned it, but I I really do want some deeds. Sort of why we came down. Okay, so this fight should be kind of a no-brainer. This should be a, a very easy win for us. Django delivering a straight-up kill right off the bat. Going to reduce our number of total opponents. And Murphy, I have to assume, yeah, monstrously huge blow from the Murph. Stress relief all around. All right, so Murphy going to take a little bit of a bite. That's fine. Murphy can take it. She's tough. Just got a thick skin, does the Murph. We're going to pump Krasani up here with a... Not quite as much uh, heal as I had hoped, but we're going to follow that up with a Divine Grace. And trading two damage on Murphy for eight total healing there on Krasani, I think, is probably a pretty good trade. And I'm regretting discarding that Emerald now, because those would stack. But uh, we're just, we're just going to have to close that and leave it. May camp in this next room, I think. Because we're getting to the point where our troopers are a little bit injured. You know what? I'm going to actually use a shovel here. All right, there we go. So the shovel actually is the appropriate response there. Trinkets and baubles. And for that number of heirlooms, probably quite worthwhile. Should possibly have burned a torch before coming. Should definitely have burned a torch. Oh, no, we still got the surprise. Outstanding. So given the caliber of opponents we're looking at here, we will almost definitively be resting after this room. So he is not going to be stunned. That guy's very stun resistant. We'd go for the damage, and I think that's what we'll do. Let's try and take this Fusilier down. Those guys really, with a single critical, can really pack on a lot of stress. And I would very much like to avoid that, if at all possible. So we're going to take advantage as much as we can. Nicely done, Django. Precision hit right there, buddy. I'm proud of you. Django Fett, making me glad we brought him. Let's get another weird reconstruction here on Chrysania. That's still going to be a positive, despite the bleed. A little facial stabbing from the doctor. No dice. The scalpel not finding its mark. Point blank shot. Eh, not, not really that huge of a problem. Not amazing damage. Let's go for a stun. Since we're not going to get that brigand, we'll try and keep him out of the fight as much as possible. Rissania can go for a little divine comfort then. And Murphy going to continue her... Assault on this gentleman, just stacking on the bleeds. That guy now bleeding for six to round. He has suffered fatal damage, so that gentleman is done dealing. Going to be finish him then from Django. Solid connect, if not a palpable hit. Go for the judgment. That'll heal Chrysania three as well as seven damage. Chrysania nearly completely healed. Let's see if the doctor can finish us off. Right in the eyeball. Doctor Strange carving faces. And Murphy to add insult to what was already fatal damage. Driving her halberd square into that chump's skull. And so we are once again out of room here. We are going to camp in this room. I think we will... Well, we'll just close it. And let's go ahead and use the firewood. We'll make camp, if only to make room in our inventory. We're going to get stress relief. We're going to feast our heroes, of course. Feasting, one of the best ways to pick up some... Uh, Cheap stress relief as well as healing. Murphy doesn't really need to reject the gods because Murphy has no stress currently. Battle Trance is very good. Probably going to use Scout Ahead. Yeah, Scout Ahead is really good. Camping, uh, we're going to use both of these. These are one of the reasons why I love bringing the Bounty Hunter along on missions. Scouting Ahead and Tracking, both a fantastic way to spend five of your available time. They really are quite good. Heal everybody by 10%. Meh. Self-reduced stress by 25, everybody else gains 5. That's actually not a huge problem. Are you religious, Chrysania? I mean, one would assume, but I perhaps not. She can encourage herself. Alright, here's what we're going to do then. We will have... 
yeah, we're going to have Doctor Strange ban and hope. And then we are going to have Chrisania go for the quick pep talk. That only does one companion, huh? Well, do it to yourself. She can't do it to herself. Well, let's not do that. We could pray instead. Let's do that. Alright, so that was uh, positive. Now we just need something we can do to get her stress down a bit. Can we encourage? We can give her stress resistance. That's pretty much all we can do, is give her stress resistance. She can't encourage herself, I'm assuming. She can't chant for herself, either. Can you encourage yourself? No. Alright. Worth checking on. Can you chant yourself? No. Well, I guess we'll just give her a quick pep talk then, try and increase her stress resist to keep the additional stress she gains as low as possible, and then we're gonna rest. Murph in fine fettle. She's still at ease, though, apparently, even though she's camping in a creepy-ass forest. Doctor Strange, well pleased with the amount of food that we've brought along on the mission, so I guess we got that going for us. Speaking of which, we're gonna actually eat this remaining two food only to uh, free up an inventory slot, and we're gonna check back in this bag which suddenly contains powerful medicines, which is what we came for. So, oddly enough, mission is successful. The question is, do we want to kind of forge ahead here? We've actually made pretty good progress. We've got quite a bit of loot. Our stress situation is good still. We're, we're in a pretty good, pretty good position of stress. You know what? I think we will try one more room check out these two boxes and do this fight see how that goes and if, if it goes poorly we can always just bail out so let's have uh have Chrisania check out the shallow grave wealth beyond measure got a bit of treasure awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike don't really want to abandon our last shovel that seems like a terrible idea um for four crest yeah you know what we can we can probably just let those lie Let's have uh, old Doc Strange check out this box. Some heirlooms. Two more deeds for us. Excellent. We're looking for deeds. Here's our fight. Unfortunate. Glad that didn't critical. A critical blanket fire really does produce just prodigious amounts of stress. It's very, very tough. A little slice and dice here. Double dodge. That's excellent. What's your move resist? Not that great. You know what? We're going to throw a flashbang at the Fusilier. And moved him forward. That's good. That guy will be able to do nothing as long as the Fusilier remains alive. Let's throw a little Judgment then. Um, we'll throw it at that guy. Try and pile on some damage to get him killed. Going to heal our Vestal for three as well. Murph, of course, going for Bleed Out. Going to put some hurting on this big bastard. He's going for Punishment. Going to whip Chris on you. Come on, hasn't she suffered enough? Raceland was nothing if not unkind to her. I think probably she's she's had enough. It maybe go easy on the poor little gal. Get a divine comfort here. More bleeding. Brigand going again. It's Reign of Whips. Another attack that can really rack on the stress if successful with a critical. Um, you know what? Let's let's just finish this fusilier. I don't want him taking another turn. Doctor Strange complaining about his bleeding. And, you know, you'd be bleeding a lot less if you just started whipping out more facial stabbings, Doc. Enough enough stabs to the face, and the, the bleeding becomes less of a problem. More face stabbing from Doc Strange. His stabbing totals going down somewhat, a meager four. Murphy, dodging a shank. And I have a feeling that uh, our last remaining brigand here is in for a rather unpleasant time. Murphy, yeah, she's going to close that out. A little bit of stress relief for the Murph. And, you know, we should probably consider just leaving since all this treasure we're getting, we, we actually can't do anything with it. I'm going to abandon our torches. I'm going to take those. Take the crest. We'll leave the 100 gold. That's worth 250. Let's abandon the key and we'll take the jade. And we'll do one more room and then we'll head out. Our, our inventory really is kind of packed to the gills. And... I don't, yeah, okay, so that's going to be it then. I don't really see any need to push our luck for just the pure purposes of greed. We've achieved what we've come to achieve. Let's, uh, let's quit while we're ahead. These tonics and herbs will stave off infection and neutralize contagion. Well, that's good. I'm glad we had Dr. Strange along to make sure and recognize the medicinal value of the herbs we stumbled across. 
A lot of heirlooms we picked up here, particularly a lot of deeds, which is excellent. We're going to use those almost immediately to upgrade our blacksmith. 16 deeds. That's a pretty solid haul for a rank 1 mission. And uh, 10,000 gold and change as well. So some fine work from our A and a half team here. Murphy picking up quick reflexes. That's outstanding. Chrysania is now a gambler. Okay. Well then, one wouldn't have expected a, you know, a uh, noble, a noble so woman well and a devoted cleric to become a, a degenerate gambling spoke. freak, but well, I guess that's, uh, that's the way it works out sometimes. Candy Jade completely eliminating her stress. Quasimodo doing a little drinking, getting himself some stress relief. Django picking up a level. Doctor Strange likewise. Both of them reaching level one. So let's take a look then and head on down to our blacksmith. We are going to do some upgrading here. Going to get our armor smithing up there that allows upgrades to rank 3. And then we're also going to upgrade our furnace to reduce the cost. Weapon and armor smithing can be a little expensive. So we're going to upgrade those. And I want to head over to our stagecoach as well. Um, and we need 10 to upgrade our barracks size. We'll be keeping an eye on that. Can't really recruit anyone right now, of course, because our roster is full. We do also want to head to the guild and start bumping up some skills. We could reduce the cost of that, which is, uh, you know what, I think probably worthwhile. I do want to get everyone to rank three skills before we uh, begin starting on the veteran missions, though. So we're going to have to keep a very close eye out in the future for portraits. We need nine portraits. So anything we can do to sort of bring in additional portraits we'll be focusing on pretty heavily. Anybody here who sort of needs some upgrades? Um, you know, we actually do have some upgrades. Let's get uh, good old Doc Strange in. We're going to get him upgraded here. He's going to be a key part of our uh, key part of our offense going forward, as is Django Fett. So oh, that's, that's not what we wanted to do. We need to go to the guild here to upgrade Django. Django, again, going to be sort of a key part of our offense. And that's got the Doctor and Django upgraded. Dr. Moreau, why don't you slide on down the list? We're not a not a huge fan of you, per se. Where is Murph? Murphy? Where are you? There she is. There's the Murph. We uh, want to take Murph to the blacksmith. Okay, Murph. We could upgrade her again, but she's at level 2 right now, isn't she? Ah, okay, that's fine. Let's take Murphy to the guild, then. We just want to make sure her skills are all topped out. They are. All right, so that's got a set, then. And our next mission will probably be the same team we took into the dungeon this time, just going for a little bit of a repeat performance, I think. We are going to bump Chrysania up, sort of, so she fits in where she belongs. We do want to take her, actually, to the blacksmith. And I think we will go ahead and upgrade her to level 2. Especially the armor going to be important for Chrysania. She did have a, a little bit of a tough time on our last mission. She, a couple times she got pretty low health, and we're going to go ahead and upgrade her skills as well. And that puts us at a spinning point where I'm thinking we're probably done for this time. Um, we'll go ahead and wrap things up then as a result. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comments section. Your support does really mean a lot to us. And if you'd like to see more Darkest Dungeon three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, consider subscribing as well. We'll see you again soon.